my name's Andrew Hahn. I'm in robotics and automation. Yeah. And uh, this is my project. It's bas it's a motor that's controlled by a variable frequency drive. If, uh, that is programmed through the PLC. The program is displayed over there. Uh, I wrote the program out. It's a pretty lengthy program. And this is uh, actually uh, the DLO6. So this is right. Automation Direct. Uh, this is a product. Right, yeah. it's a completely different program than what we were previously using. Right, the Versa so I had Pro. To look it up how to use it. All right, the, it's, it's all controlled by and displayed on this uh, HMI touchscreen display here. Uh, what I have it set up to do is I hit the start button and it allows you to control whether forward or direct or reverse in the direction of the motor and here you can use this slider to control the uh, speed of the motor see. and you can see that it's rotating in one direction at approximately 32 hertz Let's see. there's like a there's a graph here that displays the red as the set point the yellow is the actual speed of the motor so you can see it ramping up you can also see it ramping back down. Now, what's the advantage of the variable frequency drive versus the standard on-off motor? Well, the motor itself is just an on-off. When you add the variable frequency drive, it allows you to adjust the parameters according to that. You can adjust the speed, add a lot more IOs to it. It allows for a lot more control. So the ramping up and down though has its advantages. It, it probably saves... Uh, Adds long longevity to the motor, right? It's right. Less stressful on your mechanical components. It probably right. uses a le less electricity, also. Yes. Right. So cool. Now you now you've, you've been doing an internship in this program. Can you describe a little bit about how this program helped you? With your internship, and, and where are you working? Um, it was Nows Foods in Beggarville, okay. Pennsylvania. Um, while I was there, they used they were using a lot of HMI screens and, to control a lot of in-feed PIDs uh, and a lot more processes. Maybe not particularly controlling a motor, but controlling the variables that would control a motor ultimately. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of PLC programming involved. Okay. And then you also, now you have a, uh, you're graduating in, in May in a couple months here and right. you have a full-time offer from them now or um, are you working well, on it? I'm hoping for it. Yeah. I had an interview with them and everything. It went well. So. Yeah. Awesome. We'll see how so, so this is directly ties in with what's out in industry, this type of uh, most, HMI, most human machine right. interface. And so, uh, terrific. All right. Okay. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you.